Round two of the ITU World Cup Series travel to Ishigaki, Japan, the longest running event on the ITU racing calendar, now in its 17th year. Overcast conditions greeted the 30 elite women as they dove into the pristine 24 degree water of Tonoshiro Bay. Perfect conditions that consistently provide the fastest open water swim times on the tour. Showing a vastly improved swim, Cathy Tremblay of Canada immediately took charge of the 1500 metre swim stage with Japan's Yuka Sato and Ireland's Aileen Morrison just behind her. With just 17 seconds separating the top 15 out of the water, athletes were quickly onto their bikes, looking to make an early break on one of the most difficult bike courses on the ITU World Cup circuit. The lead pack formed over the first three laps, which included pre-race favourites Cathy Tremblay, Aileen Morrison and Melanie Anaheim. With a tough 10-kilometre run ahead of them, Group seemed content to ride as a group and save their legs for the final stage. It was a disappointing start for the number one ranked Ayueda of Japan, who lagged behind the leaders by almost four minutes due to a poor swim and forced to ride the 40 kilometers on her own. The lead group of 23 entered the second transition together, and just as she did on the swim, Tremblay led the group into transition two, with Aileen Morrison and Katrin Muller of Germany in hot pursuit. The Canadian immediately started to put time into the rest of the field and by the end of lap one had established an eight second lead, a lead that will continue to build on every lap. Early on, teammate Sarah Ann Brault was firmly in second place with Aileen Morrison hanging on to third. By the final lap, however, the two were running side by side with just the color of the medals yet to be decided. The race though belonged to Cathy Tremblay as she led out of the water, was first off the bike and had a dominant run to secure her first World Cup gold medal. Aileen Morrison would equal her silver last year in second place and newcomer Sarah Ambrault would claim the bronze in her first ever World Cup race. Seriously, I think I'm just going to cry in five minutes from now when I'm going to realize what happened today because in 17 years that never happened to me. But I guess, you know, nothing is taken for granted. If I got it today, it's because I worked really hard. I do have a lot of respect for all my competition because they all do work as hard as me. But I guess today I just put it all together. I'm disappointed that I couldn't have a, have a chance at the, the gold medal, but Kathy had an amazing race and um, she ran really well. Fair play to her and she, she really put on that burst coming into T2. And um, I, I just wish I had been up there with her. I might have had a better chance, but no, no, no. Um, I'm pleased with that. And um, uh, the Canadian in third as well ha, had, a good, had a good fight with her for that, that position on the last lap. So I'm pleased. <laughs> I'm really happy. I mean, it's like it's my first World Cup, really. Um, <clears throat> so I don't think it could have gone much better. I mean, I wish I had it at the end, but that's all right. It's close enough. Um, so we'll go back to training and uh, race again.